Narcs hate they love me, y'all. I am NHTL, I'm a Narcs. Oh, hate they love me. If you want to speak with me directly for coaching, anything of that nature, the email will be in the video description. Narcs hate they love me at gmail.com. If you're on Instagram, go to my page and follow me on there, man. I'm Narcs HTL M on there. Also, this wonderful group, this post that I am ready to address that I myself posted this morning. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to address this thing. I need to address this thing, all right? I need to. It's a part of what I do, all right? First thing first, I want you guys to know if you're in anything abusive, emotionally or physically or both, okay? Because I was in both with the same person, all right? At that same time within all them years. Uh, get out. Yeah, get out. Get out, all right? Because they both lead to, 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 to uh, trauma traumatic i'm talking about emotional numbness all right both of them do so they're both equally um you know destructive to the soul to the mind the body the soul anything that can that can attack your mind okay it can attack your will and affect your purpose is meant to destroy you all right that's what abuse is all about now let me address this post here mentally abusive relationships just as bad as physical ones now i'm gonna say this here what makes mental abuse harsh and i'm not gonna say it's just as bad but what makes it harsh is that you can't readily identify it right you don't know it's happening when it's happening like this silent treatment the narcissists do well really a lot of toxic people do that um that's an emotional passive aggressive tactic that they use in order to condition you right and it's mental abuse it is it is now physical abuse let me tell you physical abuse you can identify it it's hands-on and it's much more aggressive there's nothing passive about it all right it's all up front you know it's, it's straight up it's direct right but once somebody gets physically abused and this is why i want you guys to know once people get physically abused it leads to trauma as well it all you leads to the same place trauma emotional trauma it leads the same place now let me share two stories with you the first one i'm gonna share this story here about my uncle right i have an uncle he fought in vietnam indian guy he's my uncle by marriage and one day he went to speak to uh his son's uh class right he went to my cousin's school basically to speak to the guys to speak to my cousin's class right as a vietnam vet and they said when the bell rang he got under the table and they couldn't pull him from under that table. My mama said it took a while for them to get him from under that table, right? And you guys know about MK Ultra and how they brainwash and condition you, just like narcissism, same thing. You know, nothing different, same thing. It's all abuse. It's all mental abuse, all right? Now, let me tell you about physical abuse. From my experience, dealing with the physical abuse like i said it does lead to emotional abuse even nowadays i have that those flashbacks you know those flashbacks you know where i'd have been uh beat down to the ground you know what i mean so it affects me emotionally right that's what i'm saying it's, it, it leads to the same place however with physical abuse especially dealing with narcissists and toxic people not just narcissists but toxicity in general that fight that physical fight is no guarantee that it's going to be another one because what they do in those fights when they physically attack you they try to kill you okay they try to kill you see with mental abuse you can potentially walk out of the relationship go to rehab get you a therapist and live a decent life 
with physical abuse. I ain't never seen nobody raised out of no doggone grave. And just start living life and trying to work on their, their, their I've never seen that happen. The second uh, example I'm gonna give you with the physical abuse, my good friend, David. This was back when we were in high school. He was a friend of the family, as a matter of fact. He had a narcissistic uh, lady that he was dating, a girl he was dating, and she was pregnant at the time. David was, you know, real cool, real chill, whatever. You know, he wasn't no bad guy, real sport. He was all in sports, basketball, football, way around the athlete. One thing about David, David got stabbed one day. He got stabbed, that girl stabbed him. And he tried to drive himself to the hospital and he died on his way there. Now see, David can't come back and start working on himself and, and go into a, a mental rehabilitation center and then come out and try to live a decent life and get therapy. He can't do that, he dead. Young lady the other day just shared a picture in the group saying, look, this girl was, this is my sister. She was abused and he killed her. So get out. So I'm saying one can lead to like a spiritual death and one can lead to an actual physical death. You understand? See, in both cases, both cases, if somebody's mentally abusing you, it can drive you to the point to where you would want to commit suicide but guess what same thing in physical abuse if somebody doesn't kill you if you get abused if you get backed into the corner and beat down so much you can potentially drive be driven to that same place a mental instability and numbness to where you would want to commit suicide you got me so I'm not going to say one is worse than the other. They are both bad, okay? They are both destruct, like, they are there to destroy everything about you, both types of abuse. However, with the physical abuse, it's no stopping no demon. Trust me. Trust me. It's almost like you, you, you know, you, you finna die. Unless somebody comes stop this person when they start to fight you, you're gonna die. My narcissistic ex had to have somebody at the house so that when she goes to discipline her children, and her form of discipline is fighting, that's physical abuse, but that somebody had to be at the house because she always used to say, I black out, I will black out and I will kill such and such. I will kill such and such. Tell me, I used to tell me all the time, if I kill you, all I'm going to do is go and plead insanity in the court. So fighting with toxic people, their end result, because they don't see, they black and white, they on either one extreme or the other, they don't do anything, or they go overboard. When they fight, they go overboard. Because see, they, you are already pushing them to fight. Now they gotta push this thing overboard. They feel like you have made them fight you. Now they gotta go overboard. You see? So they both take an emotional toll on you in the long run. It's just one can lead to the grave. By some, by, 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 and basically, your life is in somebody else's hands. Whereas the other one, your life may not necessarily be in anybody else's hands, but yours. But yours, to where you get the strength and the confidence to walk away you can go on and potentially live life. David ain't coming back. Like I said, he dead. My uncle Jimmy, he's fine. He's living. I don't know if, he, if he's fine mentally, but he's living. So he has the opportunity to get help, seek help, and go forward. I'm NHTLM. All right. I just be wanting y'all to critically think. See, a lot of people have been emotionally and physically abused. Males that get physically abused, I can say it's physical, but once a male pushes or, you know, does something to defend himself, 
then a lot of times those women they back off now that guy that i was telling y'all about in my other video the one that walked up the stairs and all that that was the father of the children she tried to stab him one night tried to stab him he had his back turned she tried to pull that shit with me too i had my back turned yeah she tried to stab him if it wasn't for her friend being there which is a guy going after her i don't know if she would have gotten him you know, because they said he moved pretty fast and he jumped, he, he went out the back part of the apartment and jumped over the gate and ran. But you see what, I, I just want you guys to see what I'm saying here. Okay? They can both lead to death. Right? But if, if somebody commits suicide, that death is in their hands. But if somebody is killed by somebody else, then that death is in that other person's hands. It's not necessarily on the person that died there that got stabbed or whatever all right so yeah uncle jimmy is possibly mentally fucked but david is dead uh i myself would rather be mentally fucked because i can potentially come out of that with some help and some support but david can't come out that ground he in there rest in peace rest in peace to david narcs hate they love me all right, you guys take care of yourself. Both of them are, are, are fucking sick, though. All right, both of them are sick. Both of them are designed to destroy your soul. All right, destroy you. Peace, y'all. Love y'all. And I leave you with power. Because you have all the power in the world. All right, peace. Take care. Love you. Bye.